Do you think you have to be an extroverted and an outgoing person to go on a cruise? I can tell you that I do like to talk to other people and be friendly on a cruise, but sometimes I like to keep to myself too. And in today's video, I am sharing 5 things you can do on the ship if you do not want to talk or interact with anybody. If you want to see more cruising and traveling videos, make sure to subscribe to our channel. The first activity is bingo, and I know it will involve a lot of people gathered in the same room, especially in popular cruise itineraries, but I will tell you the reason why I put bingo on the list in a second. On our cruise to Alaska on board the Quantum of the Seas in June 2022, all of the bingo sessions were held in the big Royal Theater, and the theater were pretty much filled from the first and the second floor. The staff even held pre-sale of the bingo cards about four hours before the actual bingo session starts. But when you start playing, you focus on your bingo paper or your bingo cards, hoping that you would cross those patterns off and win some money. Even though you will be in it to win it with a lot of people, at least the activity itself doesn't really require you to be socializing or talking to other people. Let me know in the comment below if you have played bingo on a cruise before and let me know if you actually have won some money from it. Speaking about having bingo in the Royal Theater, I think watching the production show or any show is also a safe activity to do if you don't want to talk or interact with anyone on a cruise. Anyways, when we were on board the Quantum of the Seas cruising to Alaska, we saw the headliner show starring the Las Vegas Tenors. I thought it would be just a boring singing show, but oh boy, I was wrong. There were three singers who apparently live in Las Vegas currently, and their performance on our sailing was phenomenal. Other than their voices and the music arrangement being really good, their set list included popular songs that anybody would know and love. And the other production show was called Sequence and Feather, and it was pretty similar to the production show on The Navigator of the Seas, which was called Showgirl. But to be honest, I know more of the songs from Showgirl than Sequence and Feather, and I feel like that's one of the reasons why I like Showgirl better. The next thing that I feel like you can do if you don't want to talk or interact with anybody is to grab drinks from the Bionic Bar. It was my very first time experiencing the Bionic Bar on our Alaska cruise, and I really thought this is the perfect bar for people who don't feel like being social at the bar. I don't think the robot bartenders can mix all of the drinks, but they can definitely do most drinks. And if you look up the ceiling there at the Bionic Bar, those are all of the spirits and liquors that are available for the bartenders to make and behind them you'll also see two soda fountain machines so you can definitely get your rum and coke or your whiskey and ginger. I actually shared more details about the bionic bar in last week's video so if you missed it I will link it up above so you can watch it after this video and hey while you're at it if you enjoy this type of videos make sure to subscribe to our channel before you leave. you don't feel like socializing with other people, you can still definitely enjoy the casino. One way you can enjoy it by yourself is to pick a table where no one is playing, usually earlier in the morning or a high roller table where the minimum bet is higher than $10. And another way is of course the slot machines. You pick what you think is a lucky machine and you can definitely stay in the same spot all day if you want to. This is not by any means promoting gambling if you are underage or if you have a gambling problem, but it's definitely one of the things you can do for fun on a cruise vacation if you don't want to talk or interact with anybody.
Last but not least, one other thing you can do if you don't feel like seeing other people on your cruise is to hang out in your cabin. Ricky and I don't book cruises as often as other people, so when we do go on a cruise, we usually book a balcony cabin. But if I'm tired of seeing people outside on the deck, I just come back to our cabin. We take a nap, we hang out in our balcony, we, you know, watch TV, or we just be on our iPad watching some of the stuff that we downloaded before we go on the cruise. And on our Alaska cruise on board the Quantum of the Seas, we usually just pick a few slices of pizza and brought it back to our room. And then we flip through the channel to see if there's anything interesting on TV. Or like I said before, I grab my iPad and watch some of the Friends episodes that I've already downloaded beforehand. Well, those are the five things I do on my cruise vacation when I don't feel like talking or interacting with anybody. If you think back to some of your previous cruises or if you have a routine even, let me know some of the things you do on your cruise vacation when you just want to be alone. I would love to read about them so make sure you leave them in the comment below. And let me know in the comment what other type of videos you would like to watch from me. And if you enjoyed this video or learned something new, please let me know by liking this video. If you are new and haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe before you leave. Anyways, thank you so much for watching until the end of the video. See you on the next one. Bye!